Hi, I'm Patty Longwinter from Siemens PLM Software. I'm Product Manager for NX Rendering, and I'm here today to talk to you about the new NX11 iRay Plus based Ray Trace Studio. So Ray Trace Studio is um, a new rendering uh, capability in NX11. There are three components basically to it. Uh, one is the, the rendering engine itself, and that's iRay Plus from Lightworks based on NVIDIA's iRay Progressive Real-Time Ray Tracing physically based rendering engine. Um, physically, physically based means it's easier for you to use. Um, materials look just right, right out of the box. Um, it also scales. It uses CPU, um, multi-threaded, and it also can use CPU. And it's um, MDL based. MDL is um, NVIDIA's ma um, material definition language. We're also providing new content, a new materials library that's MDL based. And it uh, supports sophisticated uh, layering for the materials as well as um, material effects like emissive materials and subsurface scattering. And then finally, um, new tools. Remote rendering using NVIDIA iRay server software. Effects like depth of field are supported. So this is again new to NX11. Um, and I'm now I'm going to show you how to do setup and render using NX11 iRay Plus Ray Trace Studio. Uh, let's say that we're preparing for a design review or um, product presentation. So I'm going to start here with a part that's in shaded mode. My drill part here is um, I'm going to add some materials to it, but I'm not going to true shading, which is not photorealistic or advanced studio or ray trace studio at this point. I'm going to the studio task. That's where I want to do my material setup, my scene setup. Here's the new scenes, new materials. This is where my materials are going to be stored. And already you see that once I went into the studio task, advanced studio is turned on and this default gray studio one scene is applied. Now, in the studio task, the advantage is that there are operations like these operations specific to materials. I can actually use advanced studio and ray trace studio out of the studio task, but I'm going to stay in the studio task to do my uh, material application. And here I am applying, um, next uh, applying a material, just drag and drop them from, from the palette to my, uh, my geometry here, and I'm applying some uh, metal to the chuck. And you can see that at any point in time, I can uh, launch Ray Trace Studio and see the photorealistic version of it. I only applied the material once, but it's um, displayed in both modes most uh, photorealistically with global illumination using image-based lighting, um, a simulation in the advanced studio display on the left, and photorealistic on the right. I'm going to switch over using our new switch window command to a part where I've already applied uh, materials and decals. If you want to see how to apply a decal, look for um, Sam Kwan's uh, quick tip on it. So I'm launching Raytrace Studio again here, and you can see that the shadows the lighting, it's much more photorealistic on the right. Now you can change the rendering modes here to trade off performance for um, realistic effects. So I've um, set the torque control to be a uh, translucent plastic, and you can see it's better as I go higher and to higher quality. It's best in the gold, but it takes a while. You see that dottiness um, is what you get with progressive ray tracing. I'm going to generate an image. I go to the Ray Trace Studio Editor and I pick the file type, size. I can set a time limit for the length of time for my rendering. I can even do re remote rendering. We'll save that for another quick tip. I hit Start Shade. Now it's doing full uh, anti-aliasing. It's going to take a while. And we have control. We watch to see when that dottiness goes away. and We can pause and save the image to a file. And I just specify which file and which folder, and now I've got um, my image for a presentation. So I, when I erase the image, then I go back to the dynamic mode, and again, we have the photorealism, but dynamically, in the, on the, the right-hand side in the Raytrace Studio window. So that's a quick introduction to NX11 iRay Plus Raytrace Studio. Uh, look for more quick tips about it coming soon, and thanks for watching.